on for the wildest, most controversial talk show on television, featuring enthusiastic participation from our live studio audience and interviews with provocative newsmaker guests. And now, here he is, that hard-hitting, award-winning, conservative voice of television, Wally George! Welcome all across America. This is the one show that helps our great President Ronald Reagan keep America even greater. <laughs> Thank you for being with us as we go into our sixth year. By the way, I have been hearing rumors that there's an imposter back in New York who is doing an impression of Wally George. I can just tell you, do you agree? There's only one Wally, right? <laughs> and I can tell that little freako back there, <laughs> Milton Dooney or whatever his name is. Hey, I'll tell him, pal. Hey, you're gonna last six months and then you're back to Fresno, right? <laughs> All right, now, let me tell you, we have uh, some ludicrous people on the show tonight. First of all, on the program, we have a guy who is known around town as the porno king of Hollywood. His name is... Hold it. His name is Bill Margold, and he's been here before. The reason I'm having him back is he's been saying on my shows over the years that pornography is a victimless crime. It never hurts anybody. Now I have proof it hurts a lot of people, and I'm going to make sure that we burn his buns and put him out of business. <laughs> Thank you very much, and welcome back, everybody. And you folks watching us here in Southern California, I want to remind you to, to join me every Monday night on KLAC for the Wally George Great American Radio Show. We're on from 7 until 10 on that great country music station. Monday nights, we talk to you for three hours. You can call me on the phone here in Southern California, and uh, soon our radio show will be going nationwide. <laughs> Monday night here in Southern California from 7 until 10, KLAC 57 on the AM dial, our second year on that fine radio station where Joe Pine used to hold forth. Now, David, he's back for another visit. Okay. Our first victim on the hot seat. Go ahead. Another round on the hot seat. Here he is, the guy that's for some reason known as the porno king of Los Angeles, Bill Margo. <laughs> Bill Margol and his friend. Now, yes, reason, Mr. Stubbs. Now, hold on. Now, listen. Uh, hey, I can see why he's playing with teddy bears. Obviously, he can't find anything else to play with. <laughs> Wally, speaks, Wally speaks from experience. Hey, hey, he takes a teddy bear uh, to bed with him every night. Can you imagine any girl who want to go to bed with him? <laughs> No, not Tracy Lord. Ginger Lynn, perhaps. Now, what is that? Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, what, yes. what is that stupid teddy bear? This is Mr. Stubbs. He is the emblem of the playpen for the damned that the X-rated industry is. Oh, we appeal on. to the masses. How can you condemn a business that has a... Oh, no. This teddy bear has been in 30 videos. He's directed and written the expert part of the X-rated industry. Oh, no.
stupid. There's Mrs. Stubbs. I'll get him back. Oh, Mrs. Bears works with an awful lot of women in the business. Aren't you worried about Wally being sick now? Hmm? Um, Wally, Wally, get... <laughs> Did the whole reason, the whole reason, hey, you know what, I just have to think of them. I could have caught AIDS from that stupid oh. bear. Oh. Yep. That's, that's Orange County thinking. Okay, now, now hold on. The whole reason I'm having you back on this program is every time you come on here talking about, about porno, you keep talking about how it never hurts anybody, it is a victimless crime. I'm here to offer you proof oh. now that... Pornography does hurt a lot of people. No one ever died from an overdose banned, of pornography. Right? No, no, no one ever died from an overdose of pornography. Well, oh, I, think all right. I think Wally got cut. Let me tell you something. Oh, what do you know about John Holmes? The man was a cocaine abuser. Yes, you do know that, don't you? You really look at oh, this. Hold on. You Help. watch Wally at 11 and you watch me at 12, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. John Holmes one John of, Holmes died of cocaine. John abuse. Holmes died of AIDS. Right? Was AIDS now, was what the I last had, thing that killed John hey, listen, Holmes. Listen, the whole reason I had, by the way, have you had an AIDS check yet, Margo? Have you had an AIDS check? <laughs> is a lot more unhealthy than the people in my business. Oh. Look at them! Look at them! Hey, let me say this. H have you appeared... How many porno 300. films? 300. He's appeared in 300. 300. And they can, they can recite my titles. But who would want to go into they a movie... Do. Wait. Who want to go to a movie and see this idiot naked? <laughs> okay. Now, you say that pornography... Hold on, hold on. You, you say that the porno never hurts anybody. Well, Jerry Kirk, oh. president of the National Coalition Against Pornography, has stated recently that there is certainly evidence that pornography does hurt many, many thousands of people. He tells us that thousands of men, women, and children have had their lives destroyed by pornography. That's How about a lie. That? That's a lie. There is no proof that that has ever occurred. It is documented. Jerry Kirk... When I watched him on television, he said that he heard the calling from God. Not only did God speak to him, but he spoke back. You take the word of that creep? Hey, listen, I speak to God. I thought you do. We all speak to God, but don't does we? does God speak back to you? Hold on. Does God speak back to you? If God... You carry on a two-way conversation If God, with God did speak to me, he would, he would say, say... He would tell me... Air. He'd tell me not to have a creep like you on my show ever again. wrong with saying you talk to God. Everybody who prays to God. When you carry on a two-way conversation. Everybody who prays to Hell, God. I talk talks to God every day. I talk to myself. I, oh, sure he talks to That's himself. Right. Read yeah. my card, Wally. Read my card. What does it say? God created man. William Margold created himself. Oh, Think about that. Boy. Think about that. Yeah, right. now, hold on. What, what, what? David wants to say something. Hold, hold on, hold David's on. David's going to say something. Y yes, David. What? Uh, what? No, I, th I, I imagine that, that he did. I imagine he did create himself. I don't think God would have created him. I don't think God would want to have anything to do with this creep. Do you? He's my biggest fan. No, ho hold on. God is my biggest fan. According to most recent studies uh -oh. on pornography and by Jerry Kirk, who I have spoken to, I'll president that, of the National Coalition Against Pornography. <laughs> he, he tells us, young, don't laugh, you, you stupid idiot. Laugh, don't you care? <laughs> There's nothing funny here but your stupid face. Wally, <laughs> now, now hold on. They don't, they don't pay me to show my face in my business. What? Well, oh, boy. <laughs> Well, I can't see who would ever pay to show any other part of his body. Oh.
Take, take a look at my films, Wally, to prove that all now, men are not on. created equal. Hold on. There is evidence, there is evidence, Margot, yes. that young girls, uh -huh. young girls here in Southern California who come into Hollywood to become movie stars and they can't get a part, these young girls often answer ads by you freako porno producers. And these <laughs> girls, hold on, there are young girls who are often abducted mm. by pornography producers, Indeed. drugged and raped, wow. and then forced to appear in porno that films. Like a good <laughs> plot. Are you aware of the fact that we pay them $1,000 a day after we supposedly abduct them and supposedly rape them and put them in against their will? We cannot coerce lust, Wally. They do it free of will. It is adult consenting acts of natural sexual expression. We deal in love and lust. You deal There's in... There's nothing dirty about sex except in your mind. You are... Hey, and you... your mind. You deal... America Hold has on. a dirty mind when it Hold comes on. to sex. You deal in filth and slime. There's nothing wrong with sex. You, you degrade sex no, and you make not. it... We do not. You, sex becomes an entertainment. You make sex a dirty, I funny Reggie thing. Jackson, except I play the different type of bat, the different type no, of ho, ball. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you degrade sex. I do not. And I'm going to make sure you get out of it. I'll be right back. There we are. <laughs> and my guess is that sick, perverted moron, <laughs> Bill Margold. <laughs> Now, I repeat, Margot, yes. that there is documentation uh, that young girls are abducted by porno producers, they are drugged, mm -hmm. and they are raped, and then they are forced to make pornography films, and once they're in them, there's no way out. How do you answer that? That's a lie. It sounds like a nice story for a porno film. Maybe I'll use it and give you credit for writing it. No. <laughs> I'll have Mr. Stubbs direct it, and we'll bring in David as a technical advisor. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm sick of that damn thing. No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Ah! Ah! <laughs> And next, you'll be kicking the heads of babies in. That's very oh, nice. All right. Oh, all right. Now, very listen. Very good. You, you may, may deny it, but I have evidence. And the next oh, time... More hey, evidence? Hey, the next time I have you on this show... Which will be very soon. He needs now, ratings. On, he needs on. ratings. Uh, oh. He thrives on me. <laughs> Let me tell you. Margot. I'll, hey, I'll have you know, you idiot. We aren't even in a rating period. The only time I have him on the show is when we're not in a rating period. Because... Now, let me tell you this. We will have you the next time on, on this program. Yes. I'm going to sit down next to you. Oh. Several, well. hold on, several <laughs> young girls mm. who will tell you face to face mm. that they were drugged they were raped. And how much and, will they be paid to do that? And they did appear in porno films. And how films, much will you bribe them? And they're going to prove that you're a filthy, rotten liar. I love it. I love it. I have talked to several girls, and they will tell a horror story. I'm sure you've talked to will, several girls, Wally. Yeah, I... And their stories will make you realize what a rotten pig this guy is, yes. right? I'm sure you've talked to several girls, Wally. If you pay them $100, they'll listen to anything. Hey, listen, Linda Lovelace told that no, very not same story. Little. Linda Lovelace and the gun to her head is a crock. A crock. Lin She's capitalizing on the business because she was too ugly to survive in it. Oh. Oh. Do you know, do you know that your porno films yes. really degrade women? They most certainly they? do not. They, they glorify them. They glorify them. You're making women in, into just sex objects. You're making them into robots. You, you, you have them do degrading, filthy things. What? Perform acts of sex? You, you chain them up. We do, they chain under their own free will. Oh, sure. <laughs> you chain them. You whip them. You beat them. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's funny. Do you think it's funny? <laughs> and we pay them. We pay them.
You pay them. They sign a release, just like I did before I came on this degrade. show. They know what's going to happen you to them, pay and they them, revel in on. it. You pay them to degrade and humiliate themselves. They become themselves. famous doing it. They, they, they become famous. People like Seika, Marilyn Chambers, your hated Linda Lovelace. You they become famous. Ginger Lynn, and you'll mention Tracy Lords in the, the very near future. You, John well, Holmes, yes, the king. He became famous. <laughs> the king. The king. You hold. And there isn't a guy in this audience that didn't wouldn't wish that he would have been John Holmes. Hold on, hold on. Fargo, you take advantage of poor little helpless. We young... take advantage of no one. We shut your mouth. I'm talking, shut your mouth! <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking now. You take advantage of poor little helpless girls uh -oh. who come into Hollywood uh -oh. trying to get into a career, and when they can't get into a, a regular career in films, they answer your perverted ads, and you take advantage of them. My perverted and I say, ads. Filthy, don't you? <laughs> now you know what? Hold on, Jerry Kirk. Oh, Gary, Gary Kirk, Kirk again. also also points out that in his study, it's been proven that 80 oh. percent of all child molesters use pornographic materials to convince unsuspecting children that sex games are okay. That sounds that real awesome? good, doesn't it? So you're saying, well, hold on, you're saying pornography doesn't hurt anybody. It hurts no one. It's hurting those children. Way, it, must, it does not because they're bored by it. It has nothing to do with it. They don't mention that in the same room of the supposed sex molester is also a TV guide and a holy Bible. What I know, what, what I'm saying. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Hold on. And maybe even the best of Wally George. Oh, maybe that's yeah. what incites them. The best oh, of Wally George. You missed the point. Hold it. You missed the whole point. Your brain is probably eaten away with oh, acid. Oh, no, my. <laughs> You missed the point. What they're saying is these child molesters are using pornography. They show that it to the kids. sounds real good, doesn't it? They show it? it to the kids, and they convince them well, Wally, that sex games are okay. But the X-rated industry does not produce child pornography. What I, the industry I'm in has nothing to do with child pornography or bestiality or any of the aberrant sexual acts. Do you know what we do for a living, Wally? We make X-rated yeah, movies. I know what we you do. We make X-rated movies to bring consenting adults. I know what you, you what you do. You embarrass and degrade we embarrass this no one. moral country. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> and this, this moral country, you say, has a dirty mind and a guilty mind when it comes to sex. Its mind is in the gutter, so we go down to its level and keep it ca and keep it happy and entertain it. If anybody's in the gutter, you're in the gutter. I like it in the gutter. <laughs> hey, I think you were born in the gutter, Morgul. How you like that? Do you know a Michigan crime study? Uh oh. A Michigan crime study recently shows mm. that pornography plays a major part. Oh, of course, absolutely, indeed. Will you wait till I'm finished? <laughs> it says pornography plays a major part in sex crime. Oh. Now, how do you how do you? Now, how does that? it do that? Does the tape run out in the street, grab a woman, no. and jump inside no. her? I I'll tell you how it does that. No. Oh, shiko, boo, oh. Uh, Look at these women are laughing at this. They think it's hilarious. They're laughing they at you. They know it's a joke. They know it's a joke. Hey. hey, what these girls are laughing at is your ugly face. <laughs> like I said, they don't hey. hire me for my face. Hey, Kevin, hey, let's give the people a big laugh. Fill the screen. Get a big oh. close-up of that horrible face. Go ahead. Of course, you, rea way, you realize that I, way, could, I could fill the screen with something else. By the way, pal. And, and your screen, your screen isn't big enough. Your screen is not big enough for what I could fill the screen with. Hold on. <laughs> I have the strong feeling he's all talk. I have a strong feeling that whatever he's talking about couldn't even fill a thimble. <laughs> uh, the end result could fill about a dozen thimbles. By the way, speaking of the your face... The end result. Hey, spe spe hey, hold on. Speaking of your, uh, your, uh, of your face, Margold, yes. when are you going to have those warts removed? You <laughs> you're, looking, 
Hey, you're looking. They're you're called looking more and more. They're called. That's a beauty spot, and they're called intelligent bumps. No, hey. And all right, all right, Wally, I got something for you. If you people are so, if you want to accuse my awards, take a look at two movie actors, both of whom you know, and check the pattern of the four on their face. Clint Eastwood and Robert Redford. They have the exact same triangle on their face. So now you start, ah, Wally, I have an answer for everything because I'm not ashamed of what I do. But you haven't got an answer for this. That in this, in oh. this crime study conducted in Michigan, they said yes. that people who commit sex crimes first use pornography to get sexually stimulated. We get America and, off. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Hey, either you, either, either you let me finish or I'm kicking your buns off of here. <laughs> now, let me, let me finish my statement. They say that, that sex offenders, rapists, child molesters, and the like, use pornography to sexually stimulate themselves and then they go out and commit sex crimes like rapes and molestations, and that alone is enough to ban pornography in the United States of America. How do you answer that? If you ban pornography, if you take it away from the public, they'll go out of their way to get it. If you leave it alone, it will go away. You don't understand that, do you? I warned the Mies Commission about that. Hey, I'm warning hey, you about that. Uh, you cannot ban us. It's too late. It's wait too minute, late. Wait, America left, needs to wait see. Wait Mar I've left you alone for five years, no, and you're still eight here. Years, eight years. Eight years. But I'm not bothering anybody. I don't force you to watch what I do. I don't make you look at my videotapes. You are I, bothering us, Margot. You well, bother us every time you come to the studio. But you seem to get a big kick no, out of this. Your audience you loves it. They here, eat it up. No, you bother our entire It's the highlight staff. of their life. Margot, you... Oh, Margot... You bother our entire staff. When he leaves, we have to fumigate the whole building. All right, let's go to the audience, yes. Um, I want to know why Tracy Lords is doing regular movies now instead of pornos. Because she was underage when she did porno films, and the porno industry wants no part of her. Oh, Oh, she, okay. hey, yeah, right. But the whole thing Tracy is... Tracy Lords lied her way into the industry, and a couple of years from now, she'll be the cornerstone of somebody's bank building. She's, at this point, the two-headed dog. She's an oddity. Very, very quick career. You dare to oh. call names of anybody? Yes. If anyone is sick and But disgusting, I'm not saying I, that she's it, sick. But hold on. It is people like you... What's sick and disgusting about sex? You have turned sex in, into a filthy, raunchy I've thing. I've turned it into an entertainment business. It's an entertainment business. Sex is supposed to be between two people who love each other, Sex right? is supposed to be fun. Oh, okay, go ahead, yes. <clears throat> Hello, Margo? How does a person get on a film? Like, do you just pick them off the street or? No, they come into, they can write me a letter, they can come to an office when I had one. Don't you dare give an address. Don't you I dare no give an address. I have no intention, but you can read the Hollywood press. So that's how I can sign up? Read, read the, the Hollywood, Hollywood press. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You aren't saying that you want to be in a No, I don't. I just, I'm just asking him. No, if you, I wanted you know, to sign up, all I have to do is go oh, put 75 cents in a machine and get Hollywood Press. You find an ad in there, and you can write in, and I'll tell you why you shouldn't get into the business. Oh, oh is that right? Oh, sure. Yeah. You are sure. Yes, yes, next. Yes, next. Oh, well, Chris Kavina, what does your family think of you? I don't live my life for my family. They don't live their life for me. No. <laughs> My name's uh, Mike Riley from Fullerton, and I'd like to know how many people, how many men you've had sex with, and why did you enjoy it so much? The only man I've ever had sex with is my left hand. <laughs>